What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today's video is super fun because yours truly is going to be recreating some very iconic celebrity outfits from some of your favorite celebrities. Lately, I have been a paparazzi photo sleuth on the internet and I have found so many cool like outfits that I've seen celebrities rocking. Of course, most of the time they are wearing like such designer brands which are so expensive and just unobtainable for like the regular average person. And so I came across this idea to try and find street photos of like street fashion from Hollywood and stuff like that and basically try and replicate it on a budget. And I feel like I have been pretty successful. I'm so excited to show you guys what I managed to recreate. If you guys like this kind of video idea, definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, this video is very kindly sponsored by Shein. Everything you're gonna see in this video is actually from Shein. They are so good when it comes to trying to find like a very niche and specific item. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the very first outfit we're gonna be recreating is from none other but Queen Selena Gomez. She's not really the type of celebrity that goes to like events very often, unless it's like BAFTAs or VMAs or something like that. But recently she has been doing a lot of her own like beauty events for her brand Rare Beauty. And this is where this photo came from. She was wearing this like all cream outfit which is honestly like my dream outfit. You guys know how much I love those kinds of colors. So let's dissect it real quick. So she's wearing like a suit, uh, a white suit with like super, super loose kind of baggy trousers. The blazer is only done up with one button. And then she kind of has like this corset underneath, which I think originally is from somewhere like Victoria's Secret. She then has this really nice like off-white coat over the top. It does appear that it's slightly different from the suit. She then paired it with like a really simple diamante necklace a little diamante handbag and some like open toe shoes. So I got to work and I honestly am so excited to show you guys what I managed to recreate. So first up we have the coat. I honestly managed to find such a close dupe to what she was wearing. I had some closer looks at the outfit she was wearing and in some of the closer photos you can see that the fabric of the coat is very like soft, very almost woolly. So when I found this I was like this is it. This is the perfect coat. Not only is it such a similar color, but the actual like cut and shape of it is also the same. It's got that really chunky lapel. It has its own strap. It's got pockets. It's got the light colored buttons. Honestly, it is a very close dupe to what she was wearing. And as you can see, it also has the length. So this is gonna be so good. Now working back to the base layers, the next item I have is the little corset top. I didn't manage to get one that was too similar to hers, but I feel like you kind of will get the gist of what I'm trying to recreate with this one. It doesn't have like the little lace that hers had, but it's got that corset kind of look to it. It's a very squared off neckline. It's got a zipper in the back. And honestly, you don't really get to see the top that much. So I feel like this will be close enough. Next up, we have the trousers. So I ended up picking up these. They do have like a little bit of a detail at the top, which hers didn't, but I feel like these were the closest that I could find on Shein at the time. As you can see, they are very wide leg, which I think will also change Handle that like Selena's outfit kind of energy. Next up is the blazer. The blazer definitely needs a huge steam, but this is what it looks like. It's actually double breasted just like hers. And I was looking for one that kind of had this like side crossing sort of asymmetrical look to it when it was done up. So yeah, I feel like once this is steamed, it's gonna be a pretty good blazer. It also has shoulder padding. Okay, so now for the accessories, I found such a close dupe to her handbag. I have no idea what the brand of her handbag was but it looked very similar to this. It was silver, it had like diamantes all over it and this is a pretty good close dupe. I think the shape is so similar as well. And lastly, we of course have the necklace. So I just picked up this really nice silver, simple kind of rhinestone kind of necklace. This is it, very, very simple but very shiny and it looks just like the one she was wearing. I guess let's put this whole outfit together and see what it looks like. All right guys. So here is the first outfit and what it looks like on. I'm honestly obsessed. This literally turned out exactly as I expected. It just looks so good. The jacket is honestly everything. I love the length of it. It definitely needs a little bit of a steam, which I forgot to do. I'm really sorry about that, but I did steam everything else. The blazer is honestly so much better. Now that I've steamed it, it's like the perfect fit. I absolutely love the way that the blazer is done up. It has this very like 
asymmetrical kind of vibe to it, which I love. The trousers are perfect. I just paired the whole outfit with a white pair of heels. I know it's not quite what she was wearing, but it's the closest that I have. The bag is so cute. It literally just completes this outfit perfectly. I don't normally wear silver accessories, but I really am liking this. So good job, Selena. This is what the outfit looks like close up with the necklace and everything. I really, really love it. Now comparing my outfit to the original that Selena was wearing, I have to say it looks pretty damn close. You can definitely see that her outfit was my source of inspiration. It all ended up looking so similar. So on the scale of one to 10 of how close I think this is to the original, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. All right, now moving on to the next outfit, we're now gonna be recreating this one from Hailey Bieber. I know it's kind of weird that I put one after another considering there's such like a huge feud about these two. I don't really like to get involved or gossip about people, but I feel like there's definitely a lot of opinions out there about these two celebrities. So let me know in the comments, are you team Selena or are you team Hailey? I honestly don't know an awful lot about Hailey apart from the fact that she's a model and she is married to Justin Bieber, but I do really like her fashion sense. I think out of all the celebrities I'm gonna cover in this video, maybe hers is the most like wearable slash down to earth. I think personally, I would actually feel comfortable wearing something like this. So I don't know, I feel like her style is pretty close to mine. So the first item we have is the cropped shirt, of course. I managed to find this one and honestly, I'm so happy I did because I feel like it's so similar. She wears it kind of like open buttoned, but yeah, this is it. It's from the brand called Daisy, which you guys know I rave about all the time. The Daisy range is like the best quality stuff on Shein. So honestly, I love it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cropped. I feel like her shirt is even more cropped than this one. So I might have to like tuck this into my bra underneath, but I guess we'll see. We then have the trousers. Now the ones that she was wearing were kind of like high-waisted pleated at the top sort of trousers, but they were kind of like chino style. I searched far and wide for ones like that and I came across these. Now, when I saw them online, they definitely didn't really look this color, so I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm pretty sure in my memory, they were not this like orange. They were a little bit more muted and brown, just like hers, but it's okay. I feel like you guys will get where I was trying to go with this. Style-wise, I think they're still pretty similar. As you can see, it's got like that pleated sort of area here. They're quite relaxed as well, definitely in need of a steam or an iron. We then have the shoes and accessories. So for the shoes, she was wearing like a really chill pair of trainers slash sneakers, whatever you want to call them. They were white with like a hint of green. So I found these and I know these have a lot more green than hers did, but style wise, again, I feel like they have that same sort of vibe. These are very lightweight, but I really love the look of them. They almost look like Nike trainers. The only thing that's annoying about them is the fact that they have the font that says fashion sports. Like why? It could have just been blank, but I guess you won't really see it from far away. Now the two accessories she was wearing to kind of complete the vibe and the look was a handbag and some glasses. The handbag was kind of like a quilted one. So I found this one on Shein and I feel like it's giving that same sort of vibe. Size wise, it is pretty spot on. It's also got a really thin like short strap. So I feel like this is pretty close. And then lastly, she was wearing these sunglasses with like a gold sort of rim to them. They were brown tinted. I found these and honestly, they look so close to the ones that she was wearing, which I'm sure were so expensive and designer. This is what they look like. I love them. I guess let's try on the whole outfit and see how it looks. All right, so here is the recreation of Hailey Bieber's outfit and what it looks like. Of course, like I mentioned already, the trousers do not match perfectly. I am a little bit disappointed with that because I feel like this outfit would have been pretty much spot on. With that being said, the style of the trousers is definitely very similar to the ones that she's wearing. So there's no complaints about the style, it's just the color. I absolutely love how cinched in the trousers are around the waist and then they kind of like fan out towards the hips and the legs. So they are very, very flattering on. I really love them. The top was not as cropped as I would have liked it to be. So I did sort of like tuck and roll it up underneath and sort of supported it with a bandeau that I have. Now I tried to style my hair similar to Haley's, So I hope I did a good job, but the glasses are really, really comfortable. I feel like again, they are pretty much exact. I had to stuff out the handbag quite a lot to get it to look like it's got a lot of volume to it. But again, I 
I feel like the handbag is similar enough that you would be able to tell what outfit I'm trying to recreate here. Lastly, we have the shoes. The shoes are really, really comfortable actually, and they look so much more expensive than they are. So yeah, that is the whole outfit. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Did I do a good job at replicating it? I think this is such a nice like spring outfit. It's very casual, but smart. Now in terms of how close I got this to the original outfit, let me know what you guys think, but I would give myself like a seven out of 10 on this one. Now the next outfit we're gonna be recreating is one by Kendall Jenner. This photo was taken by I think paparazzi and she definitely looks a little bit caught off guard, but I really, really love the outfit. I love the tones of it, it's very neutral. So I gave it my best shot to try and recreate it. First up, we're gonna start off with the jacket. I was looking at this jacket for the longest time and I couldn't quite tell what it was made of. Is it made of suede? Is it made of leather? I have no idea. Or is it just fabric? In the end, I managed to find a little like jacket from Shein that I felt like was close enough in style and color. It might not be the perfect match in terms of fabric, but I feel like we'll still get that same Kendall Jenner vibe. So this is the jacket. It's got a little bit of like a collar just like hers did. It's kind of cropped and cinched. I know hers was a little bit longer, so it might not be like accurate, but I feel like this was the closest I could find and I really like it. So that's like the little throw over jacket. For her top half, she was then also wearing like a very simple plain white tank top, which was kind of cropped. So I found this one. It looks very similar to hers. And then leggings. These were near enough impossible to find because they are very, very like weirdly cut around the waist. So I kind of ignored ignored that part, but I just focused on the color and the shape of it. And I found these. Honestly, color wise, I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that one because this is so similar to the color that she was wearing. However, these are just on a plain elasticated band. They're not anything special. They are slightly flared on the bottom, but not too much. They're a bit more straight legged, I would say. But yeah, those are the leggings. Shoes wise, it looks like she's wearing black pointed boots. And these are great because they'll also double up for the next outfit, which you guys will see in a sec. How amazing of these. They're super pointed, but they literally look so expensive. Absolutely love the faux leather that these are made of. They have a zipper in the back as well. But these will complete the outfit perfectly. Now accessories wise, there is quite a few when it comes to Kendall's outfit. First up, she is wearing a handbag. In the photos, it's kind of hard to see what sort of handbag she's wearing. You never really get to see it from the side. So I sort of got like a vibe of it. All I could tell was that it kind of matched the leggings and I thought it might have some like metal hardware and that it was a baguette bag. That's literally all I had. So I found this bag on Shein and it kind of gave me that same vibe, especially from like the side. It's on a very, very short strap. So it's definitely like an underarm sort of bag. And I think it looked pretty similar. She's then also rocking some sunnies. I got these ones here. And again, I feel like they're pretty similar in shape. They're very like rounded and long. This is what they look like. And yeah, I feel like they are close enough. And the very last accessory of this outfit is a pair of earrings. I found these ones ones and Honestly, look how gorgeous they look. She was wearing some like really small hoop kind of circle earrings and I found these. I felt like they looked kind of like hers. So let's try on the whole outfit together and see if it looks anything like Kendall's. I'm nervous. All right, so here is the Kendall Jenner outfit and what it looks like on. Honestly, I'm in love with this. Again, this is an outfit I would never normally pair together, but now that it's on, I just feel like it goes so well. Whoever Kendall Jenner's stylist is needs a raise, you guys, because because this is so cute and it's wearable. It's like that model of duty kind of vibe. I am so here for it. Let me just recreate the pose that Kendall Jenner is sporting in the photo. Is she like this? Something like that, right? Everything about this outfit is really nice. I absolutely love the leggings. I've popped on the black shoes and it all just works well. The glasses are really comfy. I can still see everything even though they are really dark. The handbag definitely gives off the same vibe as the inspiration photo. So I'm really, really pleased pleased with how this whole outfit pulled together. Also, the tank top that I bought is kind of like long, so to make it look more like Kendall's, I had to sort of fold it underneath. As for the jacket, it's a really comfortable and warm jacket. It's like the perfect length, not too long, not too short. And even though I had such a hard time trying to match the fabric and like the color of this jacket, I feel like in the end, it looks similar enough. So I think on the scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give this outfit like an eight out of 10. I think it's close enough, but obviously, 
this not exact. All right, now the very last outfit we're gonna be recreating in this video is one from none other than Bella Hadid. Here is the outfit and honestly, it is definitely giving model of duty. This style is so far from my own kind of taste, but for some reason I really liked it. And again, this outfit definitely wasn't too hard to recreate on a budget. I think it's mainly because of the simplicity of this outfit. So the underneath starts off with a very plain white tank top. I got this one here with quite like a scooped low neckline to match hers. Over the top, she's then wearing a shirt that's got like a very thin and small print of gingham. The closest shirt that I could find that possibly looked like hers was this one and I, when I ordered this, I didn't actually realize that it was gonna be half and half different fabric. I don't know why, but I just didn't notice that it was like split in half. Either way, this is the side that I actually feel like matches her shirt perfectly. The other side, not so much, because it's kind of like a striped sort of fabric. If I look at this kind of fabric for too long, it makes my eyes go funny. Are you guys the same? Anyways, that's the shirt and the top. We then have the bottoms, which is a pair of sort of like charcoal denim. They're not like fully black, they're more like a dark gray and this is the kind of style that they are. They're very like straight and wide leg. I think these are gonna be a perfect match to the ones that she was wearing. In the outfit, it again it looks like she's wearing a black pointed pair of heels or boots. So I guess I'll just use these ones once again because they're a pretty close match. It is now time for accessories. Now the handbag she was wearing, it looks like again a baguette bag. It was super hard to see what it kind of looked like from the side, but you can tell it's kind of like a faux leather bag. It's got a lot of like hardware, a lot of buckles, that kind of thing. So when I saw this one on Shein, I felt like it really matched the vibe well. It has a strap like this, which is kind of long, but you can adjust this to be shorter. Shape wise, I think it looks very similar to like what she was wearing. So that's what I went for. Over the trousers, she was then wearing two different belts. So I picked up one with a silver buckle like this. This is what it looks like. Then I also picked up one with a slightly smaller smaller buckle in gold. It's actually kind of cool that she mixed the different materials and metals. I normally would never do that, but maybe that's the new trend to mix gold and silver. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like most celebrities are just known to be wearing a pair of shades. So we have another pair of sunglasses. This time they're a lot like thinner and smaller with black lenses. These have the gold rim around it. They're super like thin. So let's try them on. Honestly, I really like them. I love glasses that still show off your brows above because honestly I feel like when I cover them it just looks weird. If you thought we were done with the accessories just take a second because we are not. The last accessory that I picked up which might be a complete and utter fail it's actually a fake fringe. In this photo, Bella has like a fringe. So I thought, okay, I have to match that. I wanna try it out. Of course, I'm not just gonna get a fringe. I have had a fringe before and I hated it. So I bought this. <laughs> I feel like color wise, it's close enough. It's a lot darker than my hair, but we're just gonna go with it. I kind of wanna try it right now. Obviously we are gonna put our hair up for the try on of the outfit. But let's just see what this looks like with my hair down. Okay, you kind of like clip it on at the top. And then, oh my gosh, this looks awful. Hang on a minute. What can I do with this to make it better? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's kind of getting there, maybe. Okay, this is the closest that I can get it to look normal. And it definitely does not look good on me. I just don't think I suit a fringe, but perhaps when I put my hair up, this might look better. I guess let's just try on the Bella Hadid outfit and see how it looks. All right, and this is the last outfit. Who is she? This looks like a completely different person. Where is Roxy? I cannot find her. What is this fringe? I don't think this looks good on me. And also I do think this fringe could have been slightly better but for just a little bit of fun. If you want to try out a fringe, I feel like something like this is a good idea because you can really see if it would suit you before actually committing to cutting it. It's a little bit sparse for my liking. I wish it was slightly fuller, but then again, a real fringe wouldn't be that full, so maybe it's more realistic that way. Anyways, now that I've addressed the elephant in the room with this fringe, let's move on to talking about the actual outfit. So outfit is honestly on point. I actually really, really like it and I didn't think I would. It's definitely a lot more grown up for me. I feel like it's because of the shirt. I quite like the combo of like the over 
oversized shirt with like a simple white tank top underneath. I just think it looks really polished and clean. As for the trousers, they're not as long as Bella's were. They're a little bit like shorter, so it's not giving quite the same vibe, but color wise and fit wise, they are close enough, I think. They're very, very comfortable. I paired it with both of the belts and I actually really like the way that looks. I think it looks quite funky. I've also got the shades on. Honestly, it's probably a good thing because I can't really see what I look like in the viewfinder and I probably look crazy with this fake fringe. I've shortened the strap on the handbag so it's around the same level as Bella's was and I really, really like it. The handbag is a really nice size. And lastly, the shoes are the same shoes from the Kendall Jenner outfit. They are so comfortable. So yeah, on the scale of one to 10 of how close I managed to get this outfit, I feel like this is as close as you can possibly get it. I think the main difference about my outfit compared to Bella's is the length of the trousers. But apart from that, I feel like everything looks very similar. So I'm gonna give this like a nine out of 10. All right guys, so that was all for today's video. I had so much fun recreating these celebrity outfits. Let me know which one of them was your favorite. I feel like with websites like Shein, it is so easy these days to just recreate an outfit on the down low and for a lot cheaper than the original outfit would be. Let's be real, when it comes to celebrities, they mostly wear things that are just so expensive. Even like a simple pair of jeans, they're more likely to pay like $300 plus for those. Whereas most of the time you can probably get a near enough close pair to that, but for so much cheaper. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. If you did enjoy this, let me know which other celebrity outfits you would like me to recreate next time. If there's any like specific ones, definitely send them over on my Instagram. I love to read your messages on there. That is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah!